Put up. Put a fifth around in that clock. Put a shell when you drive in the top. I put your button now. I can't What's good with you guys? I'm back with another video today. And um, a few people have told me to react to some crazy high speed police chases. And um, I, ju I just remember, I be, so many people be telling me to watch so many things. I be forgetting about stuff. Like, oh, somebody told me to re react to this. So i um, gonna do it. Bro, I hope it ain't nothing too crazy in here. Like, nobody, like, getting seriously hurt. I hope it, we'll see. I expect the unexpected. Let's get into this video. The best part of any action movie is the car chase. There's just nothing like the thrill of a high-speed pursuit. Watching shiny cars weave in and out of traffic, narrowly avoiding some serious accidents. It's the most exciting thing on Earth, except for car chases that happen in real life. Ready to get your heart racing? Let's get it on! car chases are as much a part of LA culture as Hollywood is, but these guys combined those things in a way nobody had before. Instead of putting a car chase into the movies, they put the movies into the car chase. They stole a convertible, put the top down like any self-respecting Hollywood producer, and set off on a tour of LA's landmarks while showing off in the process. Can you think of anything- Stealing cars gotta be the dumbest thing you can do. Like, a lot of teenagers where I'm from do that, and I really don't understand it. Like, that's gotta be the dumbest thing you can do it's a thing called license plates like it's the description in the car like bro you're not gonna get far like like what's wrong with you more iconically los angeles than doing donuts in a stone the max you'll have the car is probably like two weeks bro Mustang on Hollywood Boulevard? I can't. These guys had a showman in them and wanted to let it out. Eventually, they just decided to stop, but they took a moment as all great performers do to take selfies with the fans and pose on their sports cars before calmly handing themselves over to the police. Fortunately for police, the two surrendered without resisting and with no reported injuries. On the list of weirder crimes that police have had to deal with, this one must be pretty high. Police were called out to investigate a domestic disturbance, which is probably quite run-of-the-mill usually, but this time, for some strange reason, a guy dressed in nothing but his underwear decided to steal an ambulance. Well Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way he stole the ambulance while it was that many police officers there. Police were called out to investigate a domestic disturbance, which is probably quite run-of-the-mill usually, but this time, for some strange reason, a guy dressed in nothing but his underwear decided to steal an ambulance. We'll probably never know why, but he seemed really serious. And he just said dressed in nothing but his underwear. That's mental illness or drugs right there. It. it led to a chase through the streets of Philadelphia that lasted more than an hour. Even the ambulance thief looked like he wanted to give up at one point when he pulled into a parking lot and opened the door, but he decided against it and took off again. He looks like he thinks he's playing bumper cars with police cars, and eventually drives down the street with sparks flying out around him because he's got no tires left, and he still looks like he doesn't want to stop. Finally, police managed to physically drag him out and onto the road, still in just his underwear. <laughs> it's not a good look. Strip finishes the job. The ambulance comes to a stop on Tolbert Street. Speaking of brazen criminals, you'll never believe this guy. He carjacked a truck with a woman and they sped off into the distance at a crazy 110 miles per hour. That's when the police chase took part. And it was a serious chase, with the truck hitting the police car several times in an attempt to escape. Bro, where is that? Dude. Ain't no way. Then they sped off into the distance at a crazy 110 miles per hour. Dude, I thought places when like the police this only chase existed in like breaking bad or something like what what is this like seriously what is this area here like is this like this got to be somewhere in like nevada or new mexico or arizona there's no way that it's anywhere else it was a serious chase, with the truck hitting the police car several times in an attempt to escape, but it didn't quite go the way the thieves planned. Instead, they went off the road and crashed into the desert in a dramatic cloud of smoke. The man took How do you crash into the desert? It's literally so much open space on foot, but bizarrely looks like he's turned around and is running toward the cops. It looks so odd you'd think he must have made a mistake, or that maybe he can't see them, but then you realize what he's doing. He's stealing the police car right out from under their noses. Then he took off again and the chase went on for another 20 minutes before the police finally managed to corner him and get their car back. And uh, on foot, gonna run, run, uh, he's gonna give up. You see right there, it's a Ventura County Sheriff. 
There are two kinds of criminals, the ones who sneak around under the cover of darkness hoping to never be seen, and the brazen ones who are just out to taunt the police even if they did nothing wrong. This guy was stopped for reckless driving, and you'll soon realize why. He sped away from the cops reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour, and then decided to kick it up a notch and started doing stunts on his bike, like standing on the seat while it was moving. The cops probably would have loved it if he'd- Why well, blur it out, though? I'm pretty sure it's not the guy that's making a video, it's Inside Edition, but like, why blur it out? That's stupid. Falling off, but he didn't. He just made a couple of rude gestures at them and kept going. Eventually, he pulled into a gas station and surrendered to police who charged him with driving on the wrong side of the road. I guess there's no law against doing stunts charged on- Charged him for driving on the wrong side of the road. How about um running away from the police? I'm pretty sure that's a crime. A public road. I just want to say that I love my family and my two baby girls and I'm sorry I disappointed them in the middle of all. If we've learned anything from the longboard, it's that you should definitely only choose escape methods that are actually faster than running. That should be obvious, but apparently not. This car thief had a slightly better idea for a great escape, even if it was lucky. After this dangerous high-speed chase through Charlotte, North Carolina and narrowly missing several other cars, he was brought to a sudden stop when a train crossed his path. Instead of panicking though, he saw an opportunity. After all, the very thing that had gotten in his way was just another form of high speed And it was somebody else in the car. Like, it was somebody in the back seat. Like, what happened to him? Were they with him? Did he steal the car with them in it? Like, what? Transport. So instead of sitting in his stolen car and waiting. Hey, yo, uh, I might have to make this a series on my channel. These videos crazy. Like, when people was telling me to do that, I'm like, M maybe, but bro, this is crazy right here police who were now gaining on him, he got out and jumped onto the train instead, and it actually worked. He did escape the police. Well, for a moment anyway. They did catch up with him eventually, but still, hey, it was a good idea. All we had to do was follow the train, CJ. People have gone to great lengths to invent ingenious ways to escape police. So what brilliant escape method do you think you're going to see this guy use in his attempt to escape when his stolen car runs into a dead end? After all, it was a daring high-speed car chase. He must have something amazing up his sleeve, or just the longboard. <laughs> Boy, ain't no way. He doesn't even seem to be able to ride it very ain't well. Ain't no way. And he knows it. He only ain't rides it a few feet before deciding it's actually just better to run into oncoming traffic. He definitely would have been faster just running. He doesn't know he's about to run into a hero in a red truck, though. Running can't save him from this unidentified Superman, though. I ain't gonna lie. I low-key hate heroes, bruh. I... Obviously, you did a good deed, deed, but, like, what did you just hit crash your car for, bruh? Like, was it that serious? Like, they were gonna get him. Like, I don't know what's up with people. Like, I'm not that good of a citizen. Like, obviously, if I see something crazy, like a dude beating his girlfriend in public or something, like, you know, that's some stuff that where I would step in. But, like, something like this where a dude running from the police, especially me driving, why would I crash my car, have to pay for the damages just for the police to get him a little bit sooner? Because they were going to catch that guy. Like, come on. Who is this masked vigilante? Lou Pizarro from Operation Repo. <laughs> no, seriously, it actually is. I'm not joking. Bet you didn't see that coming. Oh, well, nobody did. 33-year-old Jesus Zamora was charged with auto theft. Police recovered the skateboard, presumably for evidence, though an officer did play footsie with it. I'll bet there are many GTA fans watching this video, so this one's for you. This van thief led police on a wild chase through the streets of South LA for a heart-stopping 40 minutes. He somehow managed to get out of every corner he found himself in. How do people run from the police for a long period of time? Like, I feel like once the helicopter gets on you, you should be done. You should be done for. They should be calling other stations, telling them they're heading this way. Y'all need to cut them off. Like, how is that possible that it can go on for 40 minutes? Like, bro. And plus, bro, any criminal running from the police is so dumb. Like, one of my friends, his little sister died because he she got hit by a car that the guys in it was running from the police. Like, bro, stop doing that. It's dangerous. It's more harm than it is good, because nine times out of ten, you're not going to get away. This ain't GTA like the dude just said. This is not Grand Theft Auto. You're not getting away, bro. They have hell, especially once the helicopter get on you, you're done. 
and it just kept going, occasionally driving around in circles as is the GTA tradition. Red lights? <laughs> he doesn't care. He just keeps going at the same speed. Six crashes with civilian drivers? That's no problem for him, even though he seems to be missing the front of the van. What about crashing head-on into a police car? That would stop anyone, but not this guy. All it did was make him back up a bit. And then when you figure out the reasons they were running, Dude, he probably running because he got like a gun in the car or drugs. Like nine times out of ten, these guys aren't running for big stuff like murder or something. They running for like little tiny things like these dudes crazy before he kept going not even driving over several spike strips was enough to stop him it just slowed him down slightly well almost he eventually stopped because he had no tires left but the thing that finally did him in was a free sidewalk that's embarrassing him in so he slips and falls, and that's what did him in. The LAPD uh, able to swarm this guy, basically, and bring this to an end. Uh, wow. When you think of police chases, they usually happen in a stolen sports car. They're fast and can be easily maneuvered. They're perfect. Yeah, this dude that's narrating in this video has, has definitely been watching too many movies. When I think of police chases, that's not what I think of. But hey, do you, bro? For some reason, this woman opted to steal a motorhome instead. You don't often see RVs in a car chase for good reason, as she found out when she couldn't turn sharply enough to avoid a tree and took nearly the whole side off the vehicle. At that point, I would give up. The thing isn't worth stealing anymore, but she's obviously not in her right mind. Nobody sane would put their dogs into a stolen RV. Bro, that car gotta be made out of like aluminum or something. Ain't no way you skint a tree and your whole, the ha whole half of your car come off. That's nuts. But that's what she did. It's not really surprising that the one dog jumped out. Anyone would want to escape an RV traveling at 60 miles per hour on city streets. She hit seven cars along the way, but luckily nobody had any life-threatening injuries, not even the dogs. There's no word yet on why she decided to do that, but at least we now know the lucky number of crashes to stop a driver of a stolen RV is seven. As we've clearly demonstrated, car chases are wild, dangerous, nail-biting episodes. But all this adrenaline can tire you out, so I'm going to help you calm down with another car chase. Trust me. You might be surprised to hear that this footage hasn't been slowed down. This actually happened. This guy was caught with some stuff in his car the police really shouldn't have seen and sped off to escape, but then realized how scared he was and slowed right down to 10 miles per hour. The police decided it was in their best interest not to try some dangerous maneuver to get him to stop and try to talk him down instead, which they could do because he kept calling them on his cell phone to tell him how scared he was. The chase lasted a mind-numbing 45 minutes, and they covered a grand total of three miles. If that won't help you drift off to sleep, nothing will. Suspect's car causing it to slam into a concrete median. SWAT officers swarmed the suspect. If you're a kid with no experience driving, it's probably not a very good idea to steal a car. This 15-year-old is here to show you why. He took the stupidity up a notch by not just stealing a car, but a bus and creating a full-blown... No, no, not just a bus. A school bus. Yeah, he took all, yeah, not just a car, a bus. No, not just a bus. A school bus. Chase. Luckily, no children were on the church bus, but a bus being driven by someone who can't really drive would have rightly frightened other drivers. Anyone would be worried if they had to drive near a bus that's swerving all over the road like this one. It looks like he actually manages to hit every single Bro, barrier I don't, he gets. I don't even know how to drive yet. About to start driving soon. Just turned 16. I, I, I hope I learn fast because there's no way he should just be swerving around the road like that. To. Un then, unless he's doing that on purpose. Just to kick it up a gear, he speeds across a road into oncoming traffic. Really, with the way he's driving, it looks like he's lucky the bus didn't just tip onto its side. He finally stopped when he drove head on into a police vehicle. Yeah, that'll do it. And we're able to put him in uh, handcuffs and pull him out. All right, that's the end of the video. If you guys made it this far, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.